Welcome back to another vlog today. I'm just doing a solo day in the life I got back late last night like 10 p.m. From my trip to Wisconsin. I was visiting my grandparents as you guys know Super fun wholesome week with them and a little bit slower of a week Which was good after such a busy six months of travel and really had time to just sit and be with my thoughts Which I really enjoyed and I am home today and we are leaving tomorrow for the Outer Banks We will be there for two weeks and I'm so pumped. North Carolina is like probably one of my favorite states. I love the Outer Banks. We've been going since I was literally like seven or eight years old and we've stayed in the exact same house of every single year and I hope one day I'll get to buy that house. Uh, it's so special to me. So yeah, today we're just doing a little bit of catch up, some vacation prep things. I need to unpack. I need to repack. I need to film a couple of sponsored things and just kind of need to get my life in order before we head out of here I am so excited you guys like I've been on obviously so many trips to so many amazing places this year but I have been thinking about this trip for legit like months like I'm so excited there's really nowhere else that I feel like more at peace more rested um, more calm so I'm really excited We're staying two weeks this year we've never done that before we usually only stay one week but I wanted to stay a little bit longer and so my parents bought a week and then I bought a week and we're gonna stay down there all together which I'm really pumped about Madison is coming home she is actually in between leases right now she just wrapped up her first year of grad school at uh, West Virginia University and she's waiting to move into a new apartment so she's not not working since she doesn't have a place to live so she's gonna come hang out with us at the beach which I'm really excited to have the whole fam together so like I said got home last night and I was able to do all my laundry while I was in Wisconsin so this is a clean suitcase I just need to put all this away I've got tons of clothes that need to be folded and put away some PR I've got another suitcase sitting here that's the suitcase that I'm gonna bring on this next trip more laundry um, and I've got quite a few packages that I want to show you guys in Madison's room because there's a little bit more space to spend spread out right now since my room is so messy and I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the mail while I was gone okay first up I got some stuff from story I absolutely love their stuff cute little white hoodie and then they sent over just a pair of basic gray sweats super cozy and then a white sports bra that I'm super excited about I have biker shorts that match this so I love their stuff super amazing quality and then I got some stuff from a brand called Isla movement I discovered this brand when I was living in st. Pete and I have a couple of their sets that I was wearing on my daily hot girl walks and they just came out with a new collection called melted and it has workout dresses and like a bunch of other fun things they sent me so much stuff you guys like I got two activewear dresses one in black and then one in this gorgeous pink that will match my hokas beautifully and then I got two sports bras this little white one and it's a little bit longer it crisscrosses in the back it's like a cami top it doesn't have any padding in it which I really like and then I got this lime green one that'll be super cute with like just basic white shorts and then these orange biker shorts that are literally the color of a little creamsicle I'm so excited about and then I also got the same ones in black I love basic black biker shorts as you guys know and they sent two sports bras to go with this one's like really mini it's like more like a bralette uh, I feel like this set could be really cute for just like travel casual lounging around whatever but if you were going and doing a intense workout this little sports bra I think would be perfect cute little one shoulder but they also give you this side strap that's removable so you can take it off which is really nice and then my next batch of stuff is from diff eyewear I got four pairs of glasses the first pair are blue lights you guys know how much 
much I love blue lights, especially if I am doing like a writing or editing marathon. They really, really help with honestly my sleep at night. If I wear these before I go to bed, I feel like the, they really do block the blue light. Then I got these pink ones. I don't have very many colorful sunglasses and I thought that these would match a lot of my summer swimsuits. So I'm going to bring those to the beach with me this week. And then I got two pairs of black frames. I got these ones, which as you can see are a little square on the sides, but they have more of a rounded like lens towards the bottom and then I also got this pair I have a lot of sunglasses this style they are some of my favorites on my face shape and I just feel like they're effortlessly chic like super sleek sunglasses to wear honestly I wear them on my head a lot too as like a little hair accessory and I am off to Europe in October as you guys know and I feel like these are the kind of sunglasses that are just more of an accessory they make more of a statement so I'm pumped to bring these with of course I will leave all of the diff sunnies down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing diff is actually one of the 3,000 retailers that is partnered with Top Cash Back. Top Cash Back is an online shopping portal that partners with some of your favorite brands, Sephora, Aerie, Shein, Diff, Hilton, whether you are shopping for fashion related things, beauty, or even travel, whether you're booking a cruise, a flight, or a hotel, you are able to use Top Cash Back to earn money back on your purchases. You can get this cash directly back into your account, and they also have gift card options as well. They have so many different deals, and you can add this as a browser extension onto your computer. So if you are someone that is online shopping frequently, it will just automatically tell you if there is a deal available. For instance, Diff has 4.2% cash back options. I actually got introduced to Top Cash Back from my twin sister Madison and she has been using this for years and she always jokes that it's like getting free money when in reality she's just saving her own money on her everyday purchases. You can also use Top Cash Back on your mobile device as well. There's no minimum for payout so even if you're just saving a few bucks you are able to get that money directly back to you right away and there is a $10 Top Cash Back sign on bonus if if you spend $25 or more today. I will leave all of the details down below in case you guys are interested in checking this out. And without further ado, I've got a few more items to show you. All right, next few items I have are from Sephora. I know that Sephora has 4% cash back on top cash back, so you guys will have to check that out. And they have a bunch of different coupons as well. You can see here that they have different offers on specific items, more sales, and you are just able to tap to reveal these codes and add them directly to your cart. Oh, I got some Function of Beauty goodies. If you guys have tried any of these, you're gonna have to let me know I got their straight hair soft bounce texturizing spray and then I got the wavy hair styling mousse I'm really excited about this I have been trying to rock my natural hair more frequently and especially before I go to the beach I like literally packed all of the curly hair products I have like curl cream mousse things like that so that I can kind of embrace it right now this is like half my natural hair half crimped over top to give it a little more body but loving it and then I also got these like little bombs that you add into a product to try. They have one anti-frizz one and one voluminized one. So very excited about these. And then I also got a new product from Kiehl's. I love Kiehl's as you guys know. And I got their truly targeted acne clearing solution. This has salicylic acid in it. Um, ever since I've been flying again, my skin has given me some pesky breakouts. So I'm going to try this out and see if it uh, does me any favors. You guys know I've been using retinol too. So I'm going to make sure that these like coincide with one another but yeah and then I also got a drone you guys I have been wanting a drone for literally forever and I have done extensive research on this topic talked with so many different creators and I finally decided to just bite the bullet this was definitely an expensive purchase um, if you are looking to make bigger electronic purchases you can also get cash back with top cash back so I highly recommend doing that especially if you are looking to buy a phone or something of higher value because that's where you know you really see those dollars coming back to you so I ended up getting the DJI mini pro 3 it came yesterday when I was out of town still and my dad like put everything in its own separate case I haven't even like attempted to fly it yet we just charged up the battery and we got the memory card we got extra propellers we got all those types of things the specific model that I got actually has like a screen type of controller so you can see what you're doing and 
then I'm a little nervous you guys like I'm scared you have to really practice with this thing before you send it out like over water because you know if you crash this thing this is an expensive puppy um, this was an expensive toy but I am really looking at this as an investment I've been really wanting to step up my travel game and just like kind of come up with different YouTube clips and Instagram reel clips and I really felt like the only way to kind of elevate this and take that next step in my travel content was to get a drone so I finally bit the bullet um, if you guys watched my Wisconsin vlog then you probably saw my grandpa and I playing around with his little one this is like a $20 drone it's like it doesn't take pictures or anything it's kind of just the act of sending it up in the air and getting a hang of the controls and stuff like that so we also have this packed up in here like my dad literally cleared out his old camera bag case and was like here it's all ready to go like he's so excited about this he keeps calling it our drone because he thinks he's gonna quit his job and be my drone flyer for the rest of my life even though he doesn't have a passport but he's so excited and it's really sweet and he's gonna probably be doing a majority of the flying of it when we're in the Outer Banks because I want to be in the clips um, so this is gonna be some fun learning experiences over the next couple of weeks so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for my next few vlogs to see how that ends up going but yeah oh I also bought two bathing suits from Black Bow and they came just in time for this trip I'm really sad I had an order of 30 Shein bathing suits that was supposed to get here um, today and we're having lots of shipping delays right now and that package is not coming until Monday now so that's kind of a bummer thankfully I have plenty of other swimsuits that I can bring with me on this trip cute little Black Bow suit I love her stuff so much her bottoms are always super flattering I got this red one and then I also got this blue floral one super cute a little more coverage in the back a little more family friendly for this trip which of course is appreciated so yeah very cutesy okay my next order of business today is filming a try on haul I got some new stuff from Halara a couple of weeks ago and I just have yet to film the haul it's been like really rainy at home the days I have been here and it's finally nice and sunny out so I'm going to tackle this I've got some fun tennis skirts I've got a couple of activewear dresses. You guys know I really, really love their stuff. So I'm excited about this batch of stuff. So let's get going. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys. I'm going to begin packing for the Outer Banks. We are going for 14 days. And that's the longest, like I said, we've ever gone to the Outer Banks. And for some reason, it literally feels like I am moving. Like, it, it feels like I have to bring so much stuff. Obviously, I can do laundry while I'm there, but I am just so excited because this is the longest I will be somewhere, like, in one stagnant spot since, um, since St. Pete's. And I really, 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 really loved my time in St. Pete, as you guys know, because it, like, kind of forced me to slow down a bit in a way where in a really really good way as you guys know i was like going on walks every morning there and then i was like making breakfast and sitting down and replying to emails and like kind of having a productive style by morning before my beach day ensued and then of course when i went to the beach i was like taking pictures and swimming and making reels and it didn't really feel like i was working which is the best kind of work and my content really really thrived um in that scene and in that setting and i think it's because people could really see like how happy and at peace I was and that's kind of how I feel about the Outer Banks so I'm really excited for this trip and part of why I bought um, a week myself in addition to the week that my parents got is because I wanted to not really have like beach day guilt um, I figured with two weeks I could kind of get myself into a little bit of a routine which probably seems silly for most of you guys because you go on like a trip to you know relax and like not have a routine but um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna bring a bunch of workout clothes. I'm gonna try to wake up and go on walks in the morning and sunrise swim and like, you know, do all the good things. So I've got tons of swimsuits here. This one like came out of the cup and I'm really hoping I can fix it because I really want to wear this. I'm really, really bummed, like I said, that that package didn't come, but I've got a bunch of other suits here. So I'm gonna kind of sort through the things that I have and try to come up with a good little stack and then I'll show you guys like in depth what I'm bringing. Because this is a lot. <laughs> this is so sexy to me. All right, this is going to be my wardrobe for the next two weeks. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 suits for 14 days, which I know is a lot of extras, but, um, Part of it is because I really, really like to go swimming in the morning, and when I swim in the morning, I hate, like, hate putting on um, a wet bathing suit, like, a few hours later. And part of that is because I really like to sunrise swim, but there's nothing that I hate more than putting on, like, a wet bathing suit a couple of hours later, like, after I've eaten breakfast and stuff. So I'm bringing some extras. I also forgot I have a couple of one pieces over here that I want to bring. So I'm actually bringing like more than that. I want to bring this retro one piece from 91 Play Street. I have this purple one. I don't even know if this is in stock anymore, but I think it's so cute. Um, let me turn the exposure down a little bit. And then I have a couple of like small business suits that I just want to take and grab a few pictures in. As you can tell, it didn't really matter all that much that I didn't have that order of Shein suits come. Um, but yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited. I don't know what it is, but I literally feel like a seven-year-old that is going on their first trip ever right now. Like, I am so excited. It's like obnoxious how excited I am. <laughs> All right, I've got lots of workout clothes. I've got some Katomi, I've got some Isla, I've got some Halara, I've got some Lululemon, Airy, Free People Movement. I'm only gonna bring one pair of Hoka's this time around. I'd love to bring both, but it just doesn't really make sense. And my goal is to work out every day, so we'll see. I don't know what to bring. Like, when we go to the Outer Banks, we don't really do anything. You just change into a t-shirt after dinner. And then we go out like three or four times, but I still feel like I need to bring a lot of outfits, but like, I don't have a lot of like recent stuff that I wanna bring on this trip. Most of the new clothes that I've gotten are for either Europe or they're for um, Tulum. Like, I haven't really been getting stuff for the Outer Banks because I know that it's like more of a casual trip, but I'm gonna bring this dress from American Eagle that I just brought to Wisconsin. I brought this romper there and didn't wear it, so I'm gonna bring that. I brought this dress there, didn't wear it, so I'm gonna bring that from Ari. Um, and then I also brought this dress from White Fox, didn't wear it, so I'm gonna bring that. Um, it was just so cold in Wisconsin that I didn't have a chance to wear like any of these cool. things. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring a couple of longer dresses. I just got this and I thought it was cute. I don't know if I'll end up, do, am I gonna wear this there? No. No, okay, I take it back. Uh, that's gonna go with me to Mexico, I think. I'm gonna bring Where? this dress from Lulu's. I'm gonna bring this dress from a small boutique that I need to shoot tomorrow. I've got this cute little uh, bandana top and I'm gonna bring that with a pair of white flowy pants. But honestly, I have a feeling I'll end up wearing that with jean shorts. I'm gonna bring two pairs. I'm gonna bring uh, these ones from Levi's that I just got in my Wisconsin vlog and then I'm gonna bring my favorite American Eagle ones But I'm like these look so similar. Do I need to bring both? Probably and then I have this cute little set polka dots It's kind of cash uh, Not really sure if it's the vibe, but I don't know. I need tops like it's more it's very casual here I want to wear like just jean shorts, but I don't really have clothes that are like super casual right now I guess I'll bring like a couple basic tees from Abercrombie and then I have this top from Revolve that I've been saving that I'm definitely gonna bring this because I think this is super cute and I got this new Roxy tee I'm gonna bring so I guess yeah in reality this is plenty of plenty of stuff you guys so we'll see what fits I'm on my bikini body diet eating Chick-fil-a that mom just brought home she just got her nails done show us show us the color it's like such a good color it's, Do you know what it was? It's 16, 016 of DV, DMV or whatever. Wow. Uh, and it's regular polish? Yep. Yeah. Let me see him again. But I don't, she did the a The shape is great. She did a crappy job. Well, she do Okay, I am packing up my toiletries right now. There have been several beach trips we've been on where I just don't bring any makeup, but I have some things to shoot, like I said. So I brought my makeup, and then I've got my usual toiletry like case. 
and then I use this little bag from the twin fin this is like something you're supposed to put a wet bathing suit in this is a hotel I worked with in Hawaii literally still has the tag on it but I've brought this bag on so many different trips and this is usually where I keep all of my sunscreen and I'm literally just bringing everything that I have I have been getting so many like sunscreens from different brands as PR and I am just I'm throwing them all in here and then this is kind of like a communal sunscreen bag I've got some Dr. Jart some La Roche-Posay some Peter Thomas Roth some Neutrogena some Banana Boat this is usually what I use um, the most um, just because obviously like it's a big big bottle Tula is some of my favorite for my face I also really like Super Goop as you guys know but this is my all-time favorite Holy Grail sunscreen it's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost it's super light it's super great and then I'm also bringing my Kopari body oil I usually put this on when I get out of the shower if I'm like going somewhere like if I'm going to dinner if I'm taking pictures it's super super good it also has SPF in it SPF 50 but I don't use it as like a body oil and then whenever I go to the beach I also bring a big thing of banana boat after sun gel and then I so aloe and then I also bring a big thing of moisturizing after sun then I always bring a big jar of CeraVe healing ointment this one doesn't really have that much left in it but I usually will put this on in the evenings before I go to bed and do like a full body soak of this like several several nights a week um just because the sun dries my skin out so much so lots of toiletries coming with don't get me wrong i know that this is like kind of absurd well it is absurd it's not kind of absurd it is but um this is like the communal sunscreen um, I'm sure my parents and Madison will be finding their way to this bag. I'm going to leave one out to put in my beach bag. The rest of this is just going to like sit in the house probably for most of the week. All right, so we've got that. This is like usually the bag that I use if I have a lot of quote unquote extras and it's the best. So we're just kind of putting everything in here. All right, I'm also gonna bring a couple of hot tools. I don't usually do anything to my hair. I usually will let it air dry. But like I said, I've got a couple of campaigns to shoot. So I'm gonna bring a big crimper this time around. I know Madison will end up bringing her curling iron, so I'm not gonna bring a curling iron. And I thought about bringing my dry bar round brush, but I know for a fact that my mom's gonna bring her blow dryer. So I feel like I can make do with those. Some claw clips. Got a little Ziploc baggie of tampons. And then I'm bringing my favorite little straw clutch. Favorite straw bag from Lulu's. And then my white fanny packs. I'm also going to be bringing my books in this bag. I've got a lot of books that I'm bringing on this trip. I'm bringing seven books. Okay, I'm gonna bring the second two books from the Summer I Turned Pretty series. It's not summer without you and we'll always have summer. These are literally so quick. Like if I'm at the beach, I could finish this in four hours. So that's kind of why I'm bringing a lot of books is because I know that these are going to be like a two day book. And then I have the Ellen Hildebrand Trouble in Paradise Winter in Paradise series. Mrs. Mannion gave these to me to bring and I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to pack those up. And then I figured that those were going to be kind of easy reads too. So I'm also bringing Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfeld. I haven't really heard that many things about this. It was in my book of the month forever ago and I just like haven't gotten around to reading it. So I'm going to bring that. And then I also got Ellen Hildebrand The Identicals. This is a long book. Maybe I don't need to bring this one. Well, you know, it's just like, it wouldn't hurt. So, okay, that's everything that's going in this bag. It's like freaking stuff. My dad's going to be like, what the actual F, Mackenzie? Okay, this stuff's going in my beach bag. Yeah, because I'm also going to have a beach bag. It's like, you would think I was moving across the country. Look at my room right now. It's like, I've packed up and it's not getting any better. All right, this is going to be the bag that I'm bringing as like my, my, my bag, you know? My bag, bag. All right, book, brush, sunscreen. I've got all of my jewelry. I'm gonna throw that into my suitcase. And then those couple of belts I keep bringing places. I've got sticky boobs, those are the cakes. We're gonna bring those. And this is just gonna end up having like all my electronics in it. I ended up bringing my Long Champ to Wisconsin and basically everything that was in my Long Champ is just gonna go in the beach bag. Um, obviously when I go to the beach, I'm not going to be leaving all these electronics in it, but you get the gist. Oh, I'm also bringing, I lied, I'm also bringing hats, three hats, one with seashells, one cowboy with seashells, one regular one, and then wait, I'm actually bringing six hats. I'm also bringing these three, 
uh, trucker hats. Maybe not this blue one. I don't know about that, but I brought a lot of blue, which is why I feel like I should bring this one. And then my Hermosa hat, but I usually bring that smiley face, that pink smiley face hat when I'm at the beach. But I don't know, I really like a, like a hat like that when I'm sitting out. And then I'm gonna bring this bag because I use this as a prop a lot. And then I think I'm gonna give Madison this. I feel like this is a good beach bag for her. And then I'm gonna bring both of my tripods. Guys, I literally just packed up all of those swimsuits and my sheet package of swimsuits actually came in time. And now I'm like contemplating life. Like I'm like, oh, should I switch everything around? I'm gonna open these and see like, see what's in here and then make up my mind, I think. So I decided not to take any of the bathing suits out. It just didn't really make any sense, but I did add one specific one from that package into my suitcase. Here's a look at everything all packed up. So the way I was able to split up the bathing suits is that I have string styles on the right, and then on this side I have like regular solid bottoms. I have a lot of solid bottoms this trip just because I am with my family, and I feel like they're usually a little more family friendly. And then in this little guy right here, I've got like morning bathing suits so either like super thongy bathing suits that I'll just end up taking pictures in and wearing when I like sunrise swim alone or um, one piece bathing suits in the front of this and I've got all my stuff packed up I kept all of my underwear and bras and socks in this little dust bag I got this when I was in um, Charleston I got a dress in the same print and they gave me this cute little dust bag so I've been using it a ton I brought four pairs of sandals white um, like a nude gold and then a pair of flip-flops and then my hokas and she's pretty stuffed thank god there isn't a weight limit uh, in the car because I certainly wouldn't be passing it if there was. But, um, you know, we got that all zipped up. Ready to rock and roll, ladies. Wow, that baby's stuffed. My dad's gonna kill me. All right, you guys, somehow it is 3.45. I don't know where this day is going, but when I got that package of Shein bathing suits, I also got this package of bracelets and I'm about to swap out my like daily bracelets and jewels for this pack right here and part of that is because a lot of these bracelets are gold and while I do wear them in the shower like every single day and you know like I just like don't really take these bracelets off they're definitely starting to tarnish but Goriana and Kendra Scott both have lifetime warranty like a lifetime guarantee so at any point you can bring them in and they'll give you a new one. So that's why I don't really care is because, you know, like you can bring it in as many times as you want. But when I go to the beach and I know I'm going to be at the beach for like this extended amount of time, even though they already are tarnished, the salt water just like really ruins them. And I figured I would swap them out for something a little more fun. So I got these like colorful ones. These were like $2 and i thought they'd be really cute they're just like a bunch of colors we got some pink some orange some white there's a gold one this one has a seashell on it like cute beachy you know and then i also found this in my like jewelry collection just like a bunch of seashells and i really wanted to put this on my ankle but it's a little too small the chain on it is a little too small so i figured i would just wear it on my wrist cute and then i added this one to my ankle my last anklet broke while i was in wisconsin this one just has like a little starfish on it Super okay cool. everybody i wasn't planning on painting my nails before this trip but one of my nails chipped while i was packing and then i decided that i needed to just take them all off and start fresh um and give myself a fresh coat of gel before this trip which is good because um i got a new gel polish pack i was telling you guys a couple vlogs ago that i have been really struggling with um, getting my gel polish to last like longer than 10 days and somebody recommended several people recommended that I try the Beatles nail polish so I'm gonna try this today I got this cool pack of all these pastel colors but I'm gonna be lame and just paint them white because I always like my nails to be white when I go to the beach so I'm doing that and I'm talking to Miss Samantha Souter we've been talking about Going on. We've been talking about boys for an hour. I'm seeing um, Lauren in September. I'm, we're going to the Keys for her birthday. Uh, we're not moving till January. Great rug. All right, let me like, ow, ow, ow. Oh my God, ow. Holy shit, guys. I don't know if that's right. This like hurts. Here's my nails, everybody. 
Um, overall, I liked the polish, but it hurt to fire this gel. I don't know if it's because I don't have the Beatles, like, UV light, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I, like, literally had to sand the shit out of my nails because I had to get the yellow off, but I don't know. My nails are feeling a little, uh, a little spicy right now, but it's okay because they're nice and pearly white for this trip. So we'll be gone for two weeks. So I'll have to let you know if it actually lasts the full two weeks or not. Fingers crossed it does. But um, yeah. Anyways, now it's six. Like where is this day going? That took me way too long. Well, I also sat on the phone and talked to Sam for like ever because we haven't chatted in weeks. But all right, we are going to dinner. But in the meantime, I need to process a YouTube. Hey guys! <laughs> We're, we're having a little bit of car issues. Uh, what would you rate your Hornet's Nest? A 7.5. A 7.5. Wow. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to give mine a 7.5 today, you know too. There was nothing really wrong with it. I just wasn't hungry for it. 7.5. Dad got the steak wrap again. Dad, what do you give your Hornet's Nest? Mom and Dad got the weirdest thing. I had a lot of meat on it, so I'm going to give it a 9. A 9? You gave it a 10 the first time, and it had a lot less meat. So now it had more meat, and you're knocking it down a point? It didn't wow you as much this time. I had it two times now. <laughs> now it's boring. <laughs> it's yep, getting bored, getting Show bored. them your new cooler. Oh, look at my new cooler. It looks small. It's no, really it's not. One inch one shorter, inch shorter than he told me. <laughs> yeah, what about it's, the inside? Oh. The inside is one inch he, narrower this way, but it's one inch wider this way, and it's one inch shorter that way. Dad? But when I go to the beach, I no longer got to carry my cooler. I'm going to put so, my beach bag on here, and I put my God. chair on here, <laughs> and I'm walking to the beach. So my dad, if you, if you are... I'm 58 now. I can't carry the cooler like I used to. So we've had this cooler up there, this blue cooler. We're bringing that. For our whole life. My whole life we've had this blue cooler, your and yes. we always bring it to the beach, and dad said he's you, over it. You want it? You want to hear a story right here? Sure. This cooler is your mother's. She had it when we got married 24 20 years ago. She had this cooler when we got married, and I had this cooler when we got <laughs> married. So we've had the same coolers. Your whole life. Our whole life. So it's years. interesting because, guys, I, I hate guys. to say that because Sam gifted me a cooler that could have been my for life cooler. My husband could one day be telling her. Did it have wheels our kids, on it too? Or yes, yes. Really? Did my, it have wheels? my kid could have one day. Yes, yes. All yellow? All, well, this part was white and the handle well, yeah, was white right, and, right. yeah. Touch it. Right. Let me teach you something. Well, they had a blue <laughs> one like this with the gray lid. And I said, I'm done with blue coolers. And this green one was only available for from REI. So I ordered it because I didn't want blue again. All right, I'm upstairs. It's 8 o'clock and I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm going to be taking sort of an everything shower. Um, I don't want to wash my hair because it, I just washed it yesterday and it's crimped and like whatever. But I really need to shave. I have been using the new Athena Club. Um, well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Athena Club shaving cream and it is so good. Like just one little pump of this foams up so much um and i've been using that razor and then i got this stuff a few weeks ago um the redken all soft shampoo and conditioner and i told you guys i was switching to that and i have been looking for something for years if you know me then you know that i used to use the suave keratin infusion like shampoo and conditioner which is like three dollars a bottle for like years and years like almost 10 years and uh, finally everybody's like swab so bad for your hair it's so bad for your hair it's so bad for your hair so i was like fine i'll switch to like something nicer and i used the aveda stuff for like eight months i really liked it um i think it definitely helped to grow my hair at the root but the level of like heat that i use on my hair it was definitely still breaking off at the ends but it definitely was growing fast um, but i wanted to just try something different i've never felt like my hair is cleaner than when i use this suave and this um redken all soft leaves my hair feeling so similar to that which i'm so happy about so I've been using that I do use Olaplex like once uh like I don't know. I want to say once a week but I really only wash my hair like two to three times a week so I would say like once every third fourth wash and I like it 
but I don't feel like it's like grown my hair ever and it is very heavy on my hair I have super fine hair but my hair gets pretty good body to it so it doesn't really look that thin but it's I don't have much hair if you guys know and then while I'm at it talking about shower stuff I've also been using the La Roche Posay uh, purifying foaming cleanser when I'm at home when I'm on the go I've been using the Cetaphil but this stuff this Kopari body wash coconut it's so good it's so hard to get the cap open and when you turn it over it literally just pours out like it's very loose but i love the smell of it um i usually only use soap like bar soap but every now and then if i'm feeling spiffy i'll use that so anyways uh we're gonna shave everything and leave my hair which i hate doing but you know it's gonna be how it is today so all right take my makeup off let's get in the shower guys <laughs> My Jamaica vlog is processing to YouTube right now and it is 10 o'clock so I'm thinking it is time to head to bed. We are leaving at 4 in the morning and I'm riding with my dad and my sister is riding with my mom. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet little day in the life at home. It was fun catching up. I will catch you for my favorite vlog of the entire year tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. Love you guys and I'll talk to you then.